Wealth is a weak anchor and glory cannot support a man. This is the law of God that virtue only is firm and cannot be shaken by a tempest. Do not talk a little on many subjects, but much on a few. Declining from the public ways, walk in unfrequented paths. You should make great things, not promising great things. Practice restraint over the following. Appetite, first as well as sleep, lust and anger. Be silent, or let thy words be worth more than silence. No man is free who cannot control himself. Educate the children and it won't be necessary to punish the men. It is better to be silent than to dispute with the ignorant. Friendship is one soul in two bodies. Learn to be silent. Let your quiet mind listen and absorb. Strength of mind rests in sobriety, for this keeps your reason unclouded by passion. Above the cloud with its shadow is the star with its light. Above all things reverence thyself. We come from God, as the tree from the root and the stream from the spring. That's why we should always be in contact with him as the trunk from the root. Because the stream dries up when it is separated from the spring and the tree dies when it is uprooted. We ought so to behave to one another as to avoid making enemies of our friends and at the same time to make friends of our enemies. Government exists only for the good of the governed. Rest satisfied with doing well and leave others to talk of you as they please. The experience of life in a finite, limited body is specifically for the purpose of discovering and manifesting supernatural existence. Every man has been made by God in order to acquire knowledge and contemplate. It is only necessary to make war with five things, with the maladies of the body, the ignorances of the mind, with the passions of the body, with the seditions of the city and the discords of families. As soon as laws are necessary for men, they are no longer fit for freedom. It is difficult to walk at one and the same time many paths of life. Respect gods before demigods, heroes before men, and first among men your parents, but respect yourself most of all. Let not sleep fall upon thy eyes till thou hast thrice reviewed the transactions of the past day. Where have I turned aside from rectitude? What have I been doing? What have I left undone, which I ought to have done? Strength of mind rests in sobriety, for this keeps your reason unclouded by passion. Practice justice in word and deed, and do not get in the habit of acting thoughtlessly about anything. Remind yourself that all men assert that wisdom is the greatest good, but that there are few who strenuously seek out that greatest good. Do not despise anyone, an atom shadowing. Friends are as companions on a journey who ought to aid each other to persevere in the road to a happier life. Govern your tongue before all other things, following the gods. When the wise man opens his mouth, the beauties of his soul present themselves to the view like the statues in a temple. Speak not, nor act before thou hast reflected. 
the octave formed a circle and gave our noble earth its form. Let no one persuade you by word or deed to do or say whatever is not best for you. Instruct thyself for time and patience favor all. None can be free who is a slave to and ruled by his passions. Anger begins in folly and ends in repentance. Truth is so great a perfection that if God would render himself visible to men, he would choose light for his body and truth for his soul. It is better whither to be silent, or to say things of more value than silence, sooner throw a pearl at hazard than an idle or useless word, and do not say a little in many words, but a great deal in a few. And if you have a wounded heart, touch it as little as you would an injured eye. There are only two remedies for the suffering of the soul, hope and patience. Having departed from your house, turn not back, for the Furies will be your attendants. Numbers have a way of taking a man by the hand and leading him down the path of reason. Allow not sleep to close your eyes before three times reflecting on your actions of the day, what deeds done well, what not, what left undone. Ability and necessity dwell near each other. He buries gold who hides the truth. Bless us, divine number, who generated gods and men. Number contains the root and source of eternally flowing creation. Thought is an idea in transit, which when once released, never can be lured back nor the spoken word recalled. A man is never as big as when he is on his knees to help a child. Hate and fear breed a poison in the blood, which if continued affects eyes, ears, nose, and the organs of digestion. Therefore it is not wise to hear and remember the unkind things others might say about you. Alas, what wickedness to swallow flesh into our own flesh, to fatten our greedy bodies by cramming in other bodies, to have one living creature fed by the death of another. So in life, some enter the services of fame and others money, but the best choice is that of those few who spend their time in the contemplation of nature and as lovers of wisdom. Animals share with us the privilege of having a soul. Assist a man in raising a burden, but do not assist him in laying it down. Choose rather to be strong of soul than strong of body. If you're asked, what is the silence? Respond, it is the first stone of the wisdom's temple. Do not go to bed until you have gone over the day three times in your mind. What wrong did I do? What good did I accomplish? What did I forget to do? Number rules the universe. Geometry is knowledge of the eternally existent. No one is free who has not obtained the empire of himself. No man is free who cannot command himself. The soul of man is divided into three parts, intelligence, reason, and passion. Intelligence and passion are possessed by other animals, but reason by man alone. Learn silence. With the quiet serenity of a meditative mind, listen, absorb, transcribe, and transform. The stars in the heavens sing a music if only we had ears to hear. Music is the harmonization of opposites, the conciliation of warring elements. 
The highest goal of music is to connect one's soul to their divine nature, not entertainment. Choose always the way that seems the best. However rough it may be, custom will soon render it easy and agreeable. Number is the ruler of forms and ideas and the cause of gods and demons. Silence is better than unmeaning words. Reason is immortal, all else mortal. The wise man should be prepared for everything that does not lie within his control. Man, know thyself, then thou shalt know the universe and God. There is geometry in the humming of the strings. There is music in the spacing of the spheres. Each celestial body, in fact each and every atom, produces a particular sound on account of its movement, its rhythm or vibration. All these sounds and vibrations form a universal harmony in which each element, while having its own function and character, contributes to the whole. A thought is an idea in transit. As long as man continues to be the ruthless destroyer of lower living beings, he will never know health or peace. For as long as men massacre animals, they will kill each other. Don't try to cover your mistakes with false words. Rather, correct your mistakes with examination. Time is the soul of this world. God built the universe on numbers. Salt is born of the purest parents, the sun and the sea. As soon as you awake, in order lay the actions to be done the coming day. Number is the within of all things. Some are slaves of ambition or money, but others are interested in understanding life itself. These give themselves the name of philosophers, and they value the contemplation and discovery of nature beyond all other pursuits. Concern should drive us into action and not into a depression. No man is free who cannot control himself. The oldest, shortest words, yes and no, are those which require the most thought. Lust weakens both body and mind. The beginning of every government starts with the education of our youth. If there be light, then there is darkness, if cold, heat, if height, depth, if solid, fluid, if hard, soft, if rough, smooth, if calm, tempest, if prosperity, adversity, if life, death. Wisdom thoroughly learned will never be forgotten. There is no word or action but has its echo in eternity. A stone is frozen music. 